photos are hard to look at, but these are the hands and these are the faces. The parents and their children whose lives were forever changed by one of the most horrific mercury poisonings in the world's history. What happened in Minamata many years ago was, uh, was a catastrophe for humankind. More than 2,000 lives were claimed here along the shores of Japan's Minamata Bay when a nearby chemical plant dumped massive amounts of mercury into these waters, poisoning the fish and eventually the people who ate them. And it's happening again. This time, it's affecting every corner of the planet. It's a very big problem. It's a, it's a ticking time bomb. Power plants are burning record amounts of coal that contains mercury. Industrial manufacturing of plastics is another source. Mercury is in the air we breathe, it's in our oceans, it's in our rivers, it's in our food. Mercury is a problem that exists for a long time, and Minamata could occur in many other places in the world. Artisanal gold mining operations have quadrupled in the past decade. But the quest for small amounts of gold comes at a high price. Most small-scale gold mining communities pour mercury straight into the river. We don't want Minamata sprouting up in the Philippines, in Indonesia, in Africa, and Latin America. By naming the convention the Minamata Convention on Mercury, what we are saying is never again. And that's why the Global Environment Facility is at the forefront of this issue. I'm Evelyn Swain. And I'm Anul Sukdeo. Once again, we've traded in our suits for boots to see firsthand why what happened in Minamata must not be forgotten. We're heading below ground and into the mine and to remote mountain villages. We're going to the front lines to meet the people who are still using mercury and those who have found ways to sustain their livelihoods without it. Mercury is not simply a poisoning issue. At the end of the day, it's a development issue. What we have here is an opportunity to act. The Minamata Convention on Mercury can make a difference, but it will take a global effort. Well, the first important step is to help as many as countries to enact Minamata Convention so that Minamata Convention be, become effective. There is no reason to debate. But we need all the countries of the international community being part of a universal agreement because mercury is a global issue. It's time to work with our partners and begin to solve the problem. The Jeff has taken on climate change, biodiversity, chemicals, water, desertification, and now we're taking on mercury.